Okay, welcome back people. Now, some of the concepts from here on require additional configuration when we are working with TypeScript. Now, the setup already complicated that it is, I don't want to go in that crowd. So instead, whenever necessary, we are going to be making use of Scratch.js instead. Now, I do apologize if switching back and forth between Scratch.js and TypeScript is not to your liking, but my intention is to focus on the concepts and keep the explanation as simple as possible for a beginner. So for this video, we are going to be making use of Scratch.js. Now in the last video, we learned how to create a new map and by using the set method, how to add key value pairs to the map. Now there is another way to add key value pairs to a map and that is by using arrays during map initialization. So we can have let my map is equal to new map, but this time within parentheses, we can specify an array. So this array is going to contain more arrays in turn. So let's have two key value pairs. First name, this is going to be Chandler, and let's also have last name, which is going to be Bing. Now that we have an array, sorry, now that we have a new map, let's see or let's focus on how to iterate over this map. Now if we need to iterate only the keys of the map, then we make use of map.keys method in a for of statement. So for let key of my map.keys, we can have console.log key. So when I run this and head over to the console, we get first name and last name. So just the keys. And similarly, if we need only the values, then we make use of mymap.values. So let value of mymap.values, we can log value. So I'm just going to clear the console and then run this. There we go, Chandler and Bing, which is the value for first name and last name. Now, if we need both the key and value, then we make use of mymap.entries. So for, we can have let entry of mymap.entries and in console.log, let's make use of backticks. Okay, sorry about this, backticks, and we can have dollar curly braces, we can have entry of zero and we can just have an arrow mark and then dollar entry of one. So now let me clear console and run this. There you go, first name Chandler and last name Bing. Now we can also make use of destructuring for the same cause. So we can have instead of entry, key comma value and of map.entries and console log over here, this is going to be key and this is going to be value. So when I run this, okay, let me clear the log and then run this. And there you go, first name Chandler, last name Bing. So that is how you iterate through just the keys, just the values and both keys and values in a map. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.